everyone, thanks again for joining me on another episode of Sealed for Good. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Today, I'm gonna to talk about how to waterproof a balcony. So this is an application that I would say 99.9% .9 of contractors that are waterproofing internal wood areas are gonna be asked to waterproof an external wood area a balcony and it might sound simple and you might think you can do it the same way you do a bathroom but there are challenges and there are differences so this is your five minutes to pay attention most importantly first understand the substrate what is the substrate of the balcony and understand if it is a cfc sheeting who's the manufacturer has it been fixed correctly if it's a different substrate it could be magnesium board it could be a concrete slab and no concrete slabs are all the same. It could be a Bondex slab, it could be suspended, but has it got an additive in there? Has it had a release agent on that concrete slab? Understand all those things because they are gonna impact how you prepare the surface and how you prime the surface. Which leads me into primers. Primers are most important on balcony applications. Now in the grip set range, we have our things like our grip set OP, primers for non-porous surfaces, but more importantly, if you're on a concrete substrate or a screeded surface outside, you've got to use a vapor barrier, or well, we would suggest that. So you've got the H2O primer, or you've got the E60. Utilize these products because they will impact the project and impact the success of your job. Once you get the primer down on a surface that's been correctly prepared, then we go into the detailing section. And detailing on balconies is far more critical than internal wet areas. And I find detailing is critical in internal wet areas all the time. So if I'm saying it's more important external, this is the part you do not take any risks. So look at those joints, those junctions. Does it need to be treated first? Maybe it could be a joint that, or a gap that's bigger than what it should be. Is that a movement joint? What do you need to do to that? Do you need to fill it? Do you need to seal it? Do you need to tell your builder, hey, the other trade needs to come back and fix this before I can start? These are the areas you need to tend to first, and then you use our detailing systems. And the grip set range, is the market leader with detailing. Our last proof range, which has been almost 20 years in the market, is a success for all joints and junctions. Also how you detail things like at drainage points, overflow sections, the capping at the end where a balcony might meet the fascia or into a gutter system, doorways, okay, the recesses, so important. And when we talk about doorways, is the step down to specification? Has that balcony been correctly constructed so you can have the right falls and understanding that if the tiles are going on there, for example, is there enough room for that? These are the details you need to follow and that's why always look back at the manufacturer's recommendations on what the substrate is or what the building code states. And then we get to the membrane system. And this is the part where ensure you're using a membrane that is accredited to AS4654.1. Has it passed that standard? Is there a standard approved, stamp of approval with that? And ensure you're selecting the right system. Now, in our range, we've got liquid and sheet systems. Gripset FC, Gripset 2P, both AS4654 approved. You've got the BRW PFN system. These products have been tested and approved and accredited. Use them where you can and understand that when you are applying those products, you can even tell your builder in advance with your quotation or with the job that you've done, you can rest assured if a certifier comes out here, here's all the documentation, we're ready to go with it. It's approved and accredited. That way, the, the job flows. There's no delays. The other trade after you doesn't have, is not held up because we've seen sometimes where contractors have applied product, they think they've done the right thing, done a great job, but the product wasn't approved and accredited, it's delayed the project and the builder gets annoyed and so the after trades and it just extends the job when you don't want that. Plan and proceed early on the piece with the right products, know what you're doing and get the job to flow across. If you've got any questions at all on this, balconies are not a simple one, but once you understand the systems that you're applying, they can become something that can really 
etch your name in and be a great waterproofing contractor on how to waterproof balconies and have it done successfully and build your reputation around that. Put in comments below. I'm open for all these questions. So is our technical team, 1-800-650-435 or get hold of any of our staff around the country. Don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, I'll see you on Silver Good.